So let's say you're a software developer and you want to create a UI. So Microsoft Visual is a great tool to actually work with UI as well. In order to do that, I'm going to go for um, the categories section right here. And here you can see there's software and database. So I'm going to go into here and you can see that there are software and databases that we can work it with, with. And here you can see that there's website map and even a wireframe database. So I'm going to go to the wireframe database right here. So I'm going to go into US units itself and click on create. So you have this option right here. So now what I want to do is since my screen size is not like this, I'm just going to change the orientation of the paper. So I'm going to go into the orientation, choose landscape right here. So over here, you can see that there's controls, cursors and um, common icons and so forth, the web and media icons even. So I'm going to go over here and let's create a UI. So I'm going to go over here into um, the controls let's say for example and here you can see the calendar slider and everything else and i want to create a ui accordingly so i'm going to go into um more safe softwares and database there's software and there are a lot of things that you can work with here so let me just go to dialogues on the top which is already there so and i'm going to bring in an application form or a dialogue form so i'm just going to bring in the dialogue form which is the main window right here so let's say this is the software application so now I can just click it and drag it around. I can increase its size. And let's say I want to create a sign in piece. So over here, there's the dialogue. So this is sign in required. So let's say this is the uh, tool that is required, the uh, form that I'm going to create. And here, what I want to do is I want to create, I want to add in some sections. So you can see there's dialogues, the status bar right here. So there's also status bar that I can actually uh, drag it around so you can see so this is going to be uh, the sign in option sign in uh, in procedure all right so let's say this is what the status bar is and here you can see that there's other things that you can add it in so there's toolbars over here this menu bar and so forth so I don't want anything else I just want to uh, sign in so I'm going to see there's buttons, all right, so I'm going to go for uh, sign in right here. So sign in, there you go. And I'm going to add in a hint of password as well. So I'm just going to co copy this button right here, copy and paste this button. And I'm going to say pass password hint, hint of the password uh, in case you forget the password right here. And I even want to add I forgot password option right here. So I'm going to add in a label. So the label will say forgot password question mark. All right, there you go. So let me just drag it on to the center right here. All right, there you go. Let me just use my arrow to scoot it in. And over here, I want to add in a text box, which is there for my username and another text box that's for my password. So I'm going to say enter username and here I'm going to enter password there you go so enter username enter password let me just drag this down right here so I'm going to say something like another label right here and I'm going to say uh, sign in sign in in big capital letter right here there you go and I'm going to bold this out as well control B and there you go that's bold in right there let me just resize this uh, window right here. Let me just resize it out because I do not want anything else. So let's say this is my window right here. Let me just drag everything onto the center right here. So you can see that you can easily create a UI right there. You can also add in different themes so you can see that you can quickly give different look uh, to the UI right there. And you can see that it's very quick and easy right there. Let me just adjust this out over here so that it looks, looks much more better just like that so that is how you can work with ui inside of microsoft visio hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe